Hey there guys, it's Kyle here. I have an announcement to make. Um, for a while, there's not gonna be uh, any more episodes of Trainer Battles because uh, last time um, I did the Trainer Battles series how I usually do it and um, uh, some of you guys told me uh, uh, that how I've been doing the series is not that fun. Well, I kind of understand. I was, um, I was going to do the next episode by uh, using this app, record it on my phone, and yeah, and um, I have to pay like four dollars to uh, to get the recorded pro. So uh, yeah, and that video I was trying to do is like over 10 minutes long. So yeah, for a while I'm not gonna do the trainer battle series. So hope you guys will understand. Well anyways, there's a new set of field research tasks. So hope you guys are ready. Let me go look them up. So here are the field research tasks. A lot of them are new. All right, and we still have uh, some of the old ones. So the first one is catch 10 Pokemon, which will give you a Magikarp. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Magikarp. And the CPs are 99 through 117. Next is catch 15 Pokemon. And Santru is back. Oh man. So if you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Santru. 503 uh, CP through uh, 540 CP. Next is catch a dragon type Pokemon, which will give you a Dratini. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Dratini. CP is uh, 397 through 430 CP. Next is catch three different species of dark type Pokemon. Poochiana is reward. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Poochiana. CP is 263 through 290 CP. Next we have catch three different species of psychic type Pokemon. Drowsy is back in the research system. And if you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny drowsy. I do have a shiny drowsy. It's a 89% IV, which is not bad. 411 CP through 446 CP. And we still have seal in the research uh, task system, but it's not the catch five water type Pokemon task anymore. It is catch four grass or ice type Pokemon. That will give you a seal. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny seal. 382 CP through uh, 416 CP. Next is catch five fairy type Pokemon, which will give you a Mudrill. 172 CP through 197 CP. Next is catch five normal type Pokemon, which will give you a Zigzagoon. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Zigzagoon. 193 CP through 218 CP. Next is catch five electric, water, or fire type Pokemon, which will give you a duo. 477 CP through uh, 514 CP. Next we have catch five Pokemon with weather boost, which will give you a Vulpex. 347 CP through uh, 378 CP. And then another reward is Poliwag. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Poliwag. 324 CP through 355 CP. Next is use five berries to help catch Pokemon, which will give you a Snorunt. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Snorunt. 349 CP through 380 CP. Next is use five raspberries to help catch Pokemon, which will give you a Swinub. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Swinub. I have not seen a shiny Swinub since Community Day. That was the last time I have countered shiny Swinub. 288 CP through uh, 317 CP. Next we have use 
10 Napa Berries to help catch Pokemon, which will give you a Scyther. I still want a shiny Scyther, guys. Wish me luck. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Scyther from that task. 1104 CP through 1160 CP. Next, make five nice throws, which will give you a Voltorb. 399 CP through 432 CP. Next, we have make three great throws. There's four Pokemon uh, that are uh, the rewards for completing that task, and they can all be shiny. Ghastly, Baneri, Lilip, and Anorith. So Ghastly, uh, 487 CP through 527 CP. Baneri, 501 CP through 539 CP. Lilip, 515 CP through 553 CP. Anorith, 613 CP through 655 CP. I do have a Hundo Anorith, which is amazing. Next, make three great throws in a row. Onyx is the reward. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Onyx. 435 CP through 472 CP. Next is make five great curveball throws in a row, which will give you a Spinda. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Spinda. 486 CP through 523 CP. Next, we have... Um, Make three excellent throws in a row, which will give you a Larvitar. If you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Larvitar. I have not encountered a shiny Larvitar since Larvitar Community Day. Well, I take that back. Uh, last year's December Community Day, um, I did get one shiny Larvitar along with a bunch of other Community Day shinies. 411 CP through 445 CP. Next we have Bow in the Gym for Makahita and Mankey, which can all be shiny. 462 CP through 499 CP for Mankey. 318 CP through 350 CP for Makahita. Bow in the Gym five times for a Machop, and it can be shiny, so keep on a lookout. 509 CP through 548 CP. Next, uh, win a gym battle for Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, and they can all be shiny. Uh, Bulbasaur, 442 CP through 477 CP. Charmander, 387 CP through 420 CP. Squirtle, 372 CP through 405 CP. Win three gym battles for a Jinx. 1040 CP through 1095 CP. Next is use a super effective charge attack in seven gym battles for an Electabuzz. 949 CP through 1000 CP. Next is Barrel in a Raid, which will give you a Spoink. And if you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Spoink. 533 CP through 571 CP. Next, when a level three or higher raid, for an Omanyte and Kabuto, and they can all be shiny. Yeah, those three, po those two Pokemon, Omanyte and Kabuto, those can be shiny. Uh, 620 CP through 662 CP for Omanyte. Kabuto, 548 CP through 587 CP. Next is when five raids for an Aerodactyl, and it can be shiny. 1136 CP through 1193 CP. Next. Battle a team leader two times for a Nautu and a Candy Shiny. 437 CP through 472 CP. And there is a new Shiny Pokemon that got released today. Electric is the new Pokemon that got its Shiny released. So, battle another trainer for an Electric. And if you're lucky, you will encounter a Shiny Electric. And I really want to get one, guys. The blue on Electrek, oh my god, that is a clean shiny for sure, in my opinion. I really want one. 380 CP through 413 CP. Next is Hatch and Egg for an Alexicute and a Hopip. Hopip in the field research? Oh man, that's a little disappointing. Next. Execute 467 CP through 503 CP. Hop up 231 CP through 257 CP. 
Uh, hatched three eggs for a magmar. 973 CP through 1026 CP for uh, hatch five eggs will give you a chancy 490 CP through 537 CP next we have evolve a Pokemon uh, well Eevee is not on here anymore because we have flower crown Eevee as a research breakthrough encounter I uh, told you guys about uh, Flower Crown Eevee as a research breakthrough encounter in one of my past videos. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out. So, Evolve a Pokemon will give you a Cubone, and if you're lucky, you will encounter a Shiny Cubone. 402 CP through 436 CP. Next is Power Up the Pokemon five times. For Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, they can be shiny, like I said. 442 CP through 477 CP for Bulbasaur, Charmander 387 CP through 420 CP, Squirtle 372 CP through 405 CP. Next, earn three candy walking with your buddy, which will give you a Ponyta. And if you're lucky, you will encounter a shiny Ponyta. 683 CP through 727 CP. Next, send 10 gifts to friends for a possibility of a shiny Sneasel. That's right, guys. Sneasel is the reward for sending 10 gifts to your friends, and it can be shiny, like I said. 831 CP through 879 CP. Next, take five snapshots of Eevee, which will give you a glow pen? Wow, Niantic. Really, a glow pen? 339 CP through 371 CP. Next, trade a Pokemon. Used to be a Drifloon, now it's a Bronzor, which I'm happy because I really want that shiny Bronzor. I already have a shiny Drifloon. I really want that shiny Bronzor. 229 CP through uh, 300, uh, no, uh, 229 CP through 258 CP. There we go. And then finally, transfer three Pokemon, which used to be a Shuppet. And I really want that shiny Shuppet, but that's okay. Because the because the Pokemon that is a reward can also be shiny. Uh, Sableye is the reward, and yes, Sableye can be shiny. 592 CP through 632 CP. Those are all the research tasks, guys. So yeah, there's some very interesting ones and some very disappointing rewards on here like glow pen and hop dip are you kidding me those are just uh i personally think those are unacceptable rewards could they just like pull out like maybe aaron because that can be shiny and maybe uh like um i don't know uh beldum because that can be shiny as well well anyways let me know in the comments below if uh, you guys like these field research tasks uh, that just got added in Pokemon Go. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Bye-bye.